Europe gathers in Spain, Rama, IT is sad that Serbia announced three days of mourning for the attackers. Prime Minister Edi Rama is in Spain today, where he is participating in the proceedings of the third summit of the European Political Community, EPC, which is taking place in the city of Granada, where heads of state and government from about 50 European countries are also present. The EPC aims to promote political dialogue and cooperation to address issues of common interest and strengthen the security, stability, and prosperity of the European continent. So far, the EPC has held two meetings. At the first meeting in October 2022, European leaders mainly discussed peace and security issues, especially the war in Ukraine and the energy crisis. At the next meeting in June 2023, they discussed joint efforts for peace and security, energy sustainability connectivity, and mobility in Europe. At the beginning of the summit, Prime Minister Rama said to the media present. Prime Minister Rama, this is a platform to also hold discussions on concrete issues, but it is not a platform from which you can expect that at the end of the day there will be a concrete issue that gets a solution or a crisis that gets a solution. It is a very important interaction platform. Rama expresses concern about the situation in northern Kosovo. Are you worried about the situation in the north of Kosovo? Prime Minister Rama, I am very worried. I am very concerned and we are all very concerned because it is a very, very dangerous situation and it has now come to a point where year after year the potential danger has increased. The criminal activities in that part where the majority of the Serbian minority live are completely aligned with a political agenda and with a lot of nationalism, so it is very, very dangerous. Rama criticizes the EU for not taking action against Serbia. The EU has taken measures against Kosovo, but do you think it is time for the EU to take measures against Serbia as well? Prime Minister Rama, not only do I think so, but for the first time in at least the last 10 years, Albania is not aligned with the EU's foreign policy statement, precisely because of this. We have always been in full agreement with the EU and the US in relation to the need for the Kosovo authorities to move forward and be proactive and constructive in dialogue and from our point of view to benefit maximally from the Franco-German plan, which is absolutely a step forward important ahead and a very good agreement for Kosovo and for the region, but at the same time the fact that the Republic of Serbia declared a day of national mourning to mourn the members of that paramilitary criminal group that killed the policeman was enough for the European Union to step up and say this is not European. This is not acceptable. This is not justice and is punishable. Rama on the possibility of war. Are you afraid that there will be a war? Prime Minister Rama, war is a big word, but before it is too late, measures must be taken and we are following it very closely. It is very important that there is a very strong will and there is movement within NATO to strengthen the KFOR mission in the north because the border there has become completely porous, transparent and all kinds of weapons, all kinds of other traffic crimes are happening. At the same time, we sincerely hope that the dialogue will resume. Rama on the possibility of two-class membership in the EU. Tomorrow's topic will also be the suggestion of some member countries to have a second-class membership. Asterisk asterisk there is no second class membership, but as we are in this situation, there is a first class Europe and a second class Europe between the Europeans who have the B attached and the Europeans who only have the E but not they have B. At the same time, we must be realistic and we must not look at the finger while showing where the moon is and believe that this Europe of 27 which has many problems to have a compact decision making, to have a thinking and planning strategic, it is able to expand with 33 or 35 or 37 soon. Instead of all or nothing for those of us who are not members of the EU, a new approach must be found. New alternatives must be found to be considered and of course this division within must become more interactive. For example, the spirit of the European political community should and can be transposed within the perimeter of the European Union without necessarily giving full membership because this will not happen.